everyone welcome to my first youtube video today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make a two-piece set out of a pillowcase i chose the longest one and the cutest one that i had in my closet this one has ruffles on it because i was looking for a ruffly type skirt that i can make so to begin the materials you use a measuring tape a rotary cutter some pins invisible zipper a marking tool fabric scissors thread bobbin and your sewing machine and i forgot the seam ripper so there's that now first thing you're going to turn your pillowcase inside out find that seam rip that baby open and you're gonna make a entrance you can say an entrance because you do have to try this on to then measure out so i'm just ripping here the seams just like that took forever Oh, and by the way, my pillowcase is foreign. Well, it's not foreign, but it's Ralph Lauren. Cool. Now you're going to put that pillowcase on. You're going to measure out um, the top. I was actually going to make this into a dress, but then I messed up. So then I made it into a two-piece. So I'm just measuring out. Um, still applies. You're still going to cut it in half. Um, I'm measuring the back part, how far I'm going to cut off. Now, you're going to cut as straight as possible. Clearly, I do not own a ruler, so I cut really crooked. Um, there I go with my rotary cutter. You can use the scissors, too. I use both because, for some reason, my rotary cutter just doesn't cut right. I don't know. So, you cut that in half. One piece will be for your top and straps if you want straps. The bottom piece is for the skirt so with the top piece what i did here i took off the seams so i can have like a long horizontal like a very long fabric because this is what i'm gonna be using for straps and a top so you're just gonna get your seam ripper rip those seams open so you have a very long fabric which also took forever because this is a double stitch so Now we have our long fabric. I kind of took off the excess little threads that I seamed off. Now I got my hem clip, which has like a, a mini ruler on it. I cut for my straps an inch and a half. So like an inch and a half. Since I, of course, do not have a ruler, I try to make them as straight as possible, the straps, so they could be even. I overlapped each strap to cut evenly. And with that, you you should cut two because, mind you, they're so long that you can cut them in half. And then you have four straps, two for the front, two for the back of the top. This is the cool part. You, you know, thread your bobbin. I think that's how you say it. I'm honestly not sure about the exact word for it, but this is the coolest part. I play around with this so I could all be even in the bobbin. I don't have like a weirder side than the other. Now, with our awesome straps, we are going to turn them inside out. So make sure that you hem. We're gonna hem all the straps. I used a straight stitch with a six tension. I then get a, if you have a looper, that works too, but I got, I kind of prefer a, just a, a safety pin better to turn the straps inside out. The same thing I'm doing for this strap, you will do it for your second strap, same process. And after you complete your straps, make sure to cut it in half so you can have four even straps. Now I'm hemming the skirt part it's like the waist like the waistband if you want to add a stretchy like a like a stretchy elastic you can but i wanted a tight fitting so i did hem it like that i closed off the hem I 
after you hem everything, then you put it in your wonderful sewing machine. I try to make it as straight as possible because I do want a clean stitch for this since it is going to show. After that, we're going to measure out the invisible zipper. I use my marking tool. I mean, I need, I do need tailor chalk, but I just use a color pencil because I like the brightness, I guess you can say. After you measure your invisible um, zipper, you're going to cut that crease in half where you want your zipper. I chose in the back. And then you're going to pin your zipper just like that. And then when you sew, it's going to hem itself so you don't have any open raw edges. And also, to make adjustments, I completely did not record this part, but you just kind of fold the skirt and sew to your measurements. So I did it like long, long triangles, you can say. I did one on the side and one on the back. And you're done with your skirt once you make your adjustments. Now for the top, we're gonna get our super long fabric, the rest that's left. We're going to hem. We're gonna hem each side cause we're gonna stick some elastic in there and make it into one piece. As I hemmed, I left openings to insert the elastic in and then I sew and connect them together. Then I close off um, the back end. And I suck at recording, so I completely did not show that part. Now we're gonna get our four straps. You can try on the top and mark out what where you want your straps to go. I chose, I would say like two inches off from my armpit. So that's where I sewed, make them even. You can also just alter, play around with the top with the straps as you want. Pin them down and do a straight stitch. Then you have your straps time as you want and there's your top and this is the final product i hope you guys like it i hope my instructions were as clear as possible top Fitted, bottom fitted. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. There we go. I hope you guys like my first video. Thank you for watching.